Hello everybody, this is Forget Me Not, and I'm back with a rebrand. Uh, see, this channel used to be a gaming, let's play, kind of voice acting channel, but now it is a Disney College program vlog. <laughs> I have just been accepted to the Disney College program. I just got my acceptance email yesterday, and I am utterly ecstatic. This is the best thing that has happened to me since last March. And it's, this is the next step in my life. I needed this to happen. And it did. I'm going to be living at Disney World and working at Disney World. In, ca in case you didn't know, <laughs> in case you didn't know, the Disney College program is an internship program where you work at Disney World and they like provide you housing and they pay you a decent above minimum wage and it's it's like a, a job with housing and transportation and as someone who can't drive and is currently living with her parents this is the best thing that has ever happened to me let me, let me just put it like that <laughs> so i'm going to be filming the process and especially <laughs> i have a i have an angle I want to go with this whole thing because a lot of people do vlogs of the Disney College program and a lot of people do how-to videos of like there's a culture around this program and I plan to jump into it but I plan to be one of the first that I know of um, to really focus on the angle of being autistic and attempting to do the Disney College program. Because I am definitely autistic. I've gotten like an official diagnosis and everything since the hiatus. And who oh boy, the Disney College program is an intense ordeal. <laughs> and intense things are especially difficult for autistic people, especially when they don't know exactly what to expect. So that's what I'm gonna be doing with the channel now. I'm gonna be an autistic Disney College program advocate. If you aren't interested in that, I'm sorry. I am. I am. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. <laughs> Since I'm already in progress in my DCP journey, I would like to take the rest of this video to kind of go step by step through what I've done so far, up to the point of completing my acceptance process. Everything that I wish I would have had explained to me in explicit detail before I had to do it myself. The first step of applying to the Disney College program is the initial application, which you find on DisneyCareers.com under their program section. You go to the College Program button, there, you look in their drop down, and you'll see if you have an Apply Now option. If you don't, that means applications are closed. But if you see an apply now, that means they're open. You can also sign up for e like an email service that'll let you know when it comes back up. I would recommend that, actually. <laughs> Unless you are already entrenched in the culture and you have other people to tell you even faster on like Twitter and Facebook and stuff. But if applications are open, you hit the apply now button and you get sent to a basic application. I have been... I've. I've recorded this like three times trying to explain this in more detail than I need to, so I'm gonna brush over this. I know I said I'd go into explicit detail, but seriously, that I was going into too much detail. You get a couple pages of forms you need to fill out. There's one with your basic information, your, like your name, your age, your contact information, the, the basic who the heck are you stuff. Then you get one about your education and your college career because you need to be within the eligibility range of I'm still in college or have recently graduated. Uh, the current extension date past graduation is within 24 months of graduating. That's the only reason I got on the program. Um, I don't know if they'll shrink it back down to their former 12 months of after graduation once this program kind of runs its course. I don't know. They might, they might keep it at 24. But the, that page is just basically, where do you go to college? How long are you there? What's your education level? Blah, 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 blah. Uh, there's a page that discusses um, your availability. 
when can you first arrive? What What is the first date you can arrive? They'll give like a scroll down sheet of Mondays. It's all Mondays that you arrive. My, uh, I said that I would be available from July 26th onwards because I'm currently in a um, local engagement and cannot, and it ended re just before the 26th. But my arrival date ended up being August 16th. So they might not stick exactly to your dates, but they will make sure you don't arrive before you say you're ready. And they will also ask for a release date, like when's the last time you can leave. And they'll keep that in mind as well. I just gave as long as possible because I have, I have no commitments after this current thing I'm doing other than Disney. So they'll ask like your availability, and they'll ask uh, your experiences in living with roommates, such as like college dorm mates or siblings, and they'll just ask a few questions about that because they want to make sure you're not going to be a hellion to live with. Uh, and it's just like a few pages of that. And then there's a page that's like the actual application where you'll talk about your work experience. You can either use the essay box provided or send in a resume as a PDF. I chose the former option because I don't have much job experience. I only had one proper work experience to talk about, so I just did that. And that was good enough. It was it was a job entertaining in a um, paid environment, so it was it worked. It was close enough to Disney stuff that they liked it, I guess. And that's basically what the application application is. It's it's the least explaining necessary part. You find Disney Careers, you find the apply button, you fill out all the information they want you to give, and then once that's all complete, you send it in, and you wait. You usually don't have to wait all that long because most of this process is automated. <laughs> uh, pretty soon you'll get an email that'll say, like, oh, we want you for a web-based interview. We, we are going to have you do a web-based interview. Nearly everyone who does the initial application will move on to step two, the web-based interview. Uh, fun fact, I've applied for the Disney College program twice, two times. The first time, I failed the web-based interview specifically because of one of my autistic traits. So I'm going to make this explicitly clear. The web-based interview is where you hype yourself up. What it basically is, is like, you know those personality tests where they're like, this is a statement that could apply to a personality. I agree with this. I don't agree with this. Kind of yeah, kind of no. Eh. It's that, but for like 40 minutes. And at worst. 40 minutes at worst. But they're going to ask you, they're going to ask you a lot of questions about what type of worker you are. And since I had never really had a job before applying the first time, I answered a lot of questions trepidatiously. Like, how good do you think you'll do with the, the a lot of them are like, how good do you think you'll do with the job? And Disney is looking for people who are gonna be like, I'm gonna be the best at that job because I'm gonna be working at heckin' Disney World. I will do anything it takes to do the best possible at that job. But for someone with low self-esteem and the uh, tendency to be overly literal that most autistics ca have, um, that there is a temptation and an instinct to answer brutally honestly instead of optimistically honestly. Be optimistic about yourself. Hype yourself up. Do not give them the worst of yourself. That is what I did my first time, and I failed my web-based interview. There's, there's also a lot of questions that are like, I function best in straightforward environments versus chaotic environments. I, I like clear instruction versus figuring it out on my own. I like... Uh, working with people more than working alone. I like being a leader. I like being a follower. Like, don't lie about that stuff, because they're going to figure out real quick if you like following instructions, but you say you want to be a leader because 
it sounded like a go-getter thing. So be honest in your web-based interview, but do not be brutally honest. Does that make sense? Raise your hand in the comments if it makes sense. Okay. <laughs> so once the web-based interview is completed, you will know basically instantly if you passed or failed. If you fail, you have to wait six months to take another web-based interview. That's why I didn't get in before COVID. <laughs> but you will know instantly whether you succeeded or failed. And if you follow my instructions and are optimistic and kind to yourself and confident in, the, in your ability to figure stuff out once you get there, you will succeed. A lot, of, a lot of other bloggers are like, the web-based interview is easy, you don't need to worry about it whatsoever, you just answer the questions. No. An autistic person needs to know, you do not be mean to yourself. You do not doubt yourself. Even if you doubt yourself, you do not let them know you doubt yourself. You give them your best. Your best. Your best. Your best. Cool? <laughs> cool. So yeah, you'll know whether you succeeded or failed pretty much within minutes of finishing the web-based interview, if not seconds. And if you succeed the web-based interview, nowadays that means you're done. Before COVID, you would have a phone interview where you would like, someone would call you at a specified time and you would have to like talk to them in, in live person over the phone for however long they wanted. Basically like another 40 minutes. You don't have to do that anymore. The web-based interview is the last step. So once you're done the web-based interview, if they say, cool, you passed the web-based interview, you're in consideration for, a, for the program. This is the point where you wait. This is the point where I waited. This is the point where I went insane. Because <laughs> that you will not hear back from them for a while because they, they have such a backlog of people coming in. Like, I don't arrive until mid-August, and it is early July. So, you will have to wait to figure out if you got in. Unless you're really lucky and they love you, like, right away. Some of, some of my friends uh, applied as soon as it came up and got in right away. But, um, yeah, you're not gonna hear back for a while. You gotta, you gotta just be at peace with it. Um, what, what helped me was finding um, actually some recruiters on Twitter who would uh, be updating Twitter about the process and when they would send out acceptance letters and to which arrival date groups of people. I applied for the program in late May, uh, specifically May 20th is when I completed my web-based interview and I was in consideration from May 20th until July 1st. And then on July 1st, I, I was sent my acceptance letter. It is July 2nd right now. My arrival date is August 16th, and my departure date is February 3rd, 2022. So those are about the timetables to expect. About a month and a half of waiting, about a month and a half of you know you're in, we're gonna spoon feed you information until your arrival date, and then six months of working. On June 30th, the day before I got my acceptance letter, I got a update of sorts. It was basically like a paragraph or two from the automated email that's like, you are still in consideration. We have not forgotten about you. This is not an acceptance letter. This is not a rejection letter. This is just an update to remind you that we haven't decided on you yet. And initially when I got it, I was kind of pissed because like you've kept me waiting for a month and a half. I wake up to this email and you give me this nothing, this drivel. But then the next day I got accepted to the program, so, so I can't actually be mad. If you get an inconsideration email, I don't, I do not take it as an automatic acceptance, but take it as a, you will get your answer very soon. Hopefully, I could be wrong. I could just be lucky. 
but that's what that email meant to me. So if you get a you're still in consideration email, you're probably getting your results soon. So when I got my results, uh, I was literally in bed. I was uh, actually, I had only gotten a few hours sleep and I kind of woke up to the sound of my phone buzzing, like with the email notification. So I'm like, oh, what time is it? Uh, I could probably sleep. Wait, Disney. So I opened the email and I got accepted. And it was holy. It was insane. And I'm gonna read off excerpts from the emails to let you know what to expect. The you've been accepted email is basically, uh, it lets you know about the three steps it takes to properly accept the offer. Because the, the first email is, we're giving you the offer of, you are going to work for us, please. The basic offer of you've been accepted. So the first step they give you in this initial email after the GIF and the congratulations and the, oh wow, it's happening. Uh, first, you have to, okay. Step one says to review and respond to your offer. They give you a link to follow that basically takes you to your uh, dashboard, which is on the website where you apply. You basically have like a, a profile where you um, keep track of the job. Kind of, kind of like a LinkedIn thing, except I've never used LinkedIn, so it could be totally different. But you go to basically find the Google Doc that is your, op well, like the Google form that is your offer letter. It says the printer save a copy. I should I should see if I can get a copy of that. Anyway, um, they basically give you a yes or no. Do I accept? You accept. That is step one. Step two: submit your program fees and acknowledge your program dates. So after you complete all of step one and accept the offer, you get another email that's um, that sends you a link to a website called Dorms which is the Disney on-site resident management system. So it's basically like your, uh, what handles your apartment and your living situation. Except for it's also for the whole program, because even if you don't do housing, you still have to pay a program fee. Um, including housing, my fee was $415. Uh, whatever credit or debit card you use to pay that money, Make sure, make sure it is in the account before you start the process. Um, the start of the process will be like, here, we gave you a username and a password. Uh, sign it in, set your own password, you got an account, cool. Uh, once you start the actual process to submit your program fees, though, once you say, okay, I'm ready to, I'm ready to pay, here's like, let's go, let's give you my information. You have six minutes to fill it all out, which it takes like a minute, a minute and a half to get all the info down on one card. But um, the card I used had like just under the amount required. I thought I had a bit more in my account than I did and I didn't check ahead of time whether I had exactly $415 or more inside. So when I filled out all the information on my my card, um, it declined. <laughs> so in a panic, I jumped out of bed. Uh, I currently have a sprained ankle, so I hopped on one foot all the way across the house to my, uh, to my mom's room. So I'm like, Mom, I need to borrow your credit card. I'll pay you back, I promise. And I had to do it all on her credit card, which I had time, somehow. Six minutes is a surprisingly long amount of time, but it does not feel long. Do not stress yourself out. Make sure you have the money before you start the timer. They'll warn you before the timer starts. Make sure you have the money before you start the timer. Um, it, from there, it's just fill out basic credit card information, the same thing you'd ask for, same thing they'd ask for in any purchase, like on Amazon or whatever and um, if you have the the payment you have been asked to pay in your account it'll just go through and they're like 
Great. Thanks. Thanks for that. You you've paid your money. <laughs> and that that will basically be done. But uh do not leave the dorms website because once the payment is done they're like, "Okay, great. You have access to our you have access to the rest of our website. Please fill out another form." And it's kind of like the application form, except it's like all on one page. You give your basic information, uh, you give, um, I'm trying to remember what's in the, oh, I can check what's in the thing. I can check what's in the thing. Yeah, they ask you your personal information. Um, they make sure to clear your arrival and departure dates. They ask uh, about your housing preferences. Like, do you want do you want to live in the Disney place? Do you need some disability stuff? Do you do you need gen Would you like gender neutral housing? Would you like to live with a spouse? Are you bringing a vehicle? Um, and then they ask for like payment information, uh, emergency contacts. They ask a bit about your school. They just basically ask, will you be considered a full time student? So like, are you still in college? Are you still taking your college classes, or are you taking a semester off? If you're still taking college classes from your college while in the Disney College program, you will say yes to this. If you are not taking college classes while at the Disney College program from your college, you will say no. Uh, and then they'll ask why if you say no. Um, and then that's basically the last thing. Once you have filled out that page, the dorms registration page, it will be in your dorms account. It'll be like the first thing that shows up. You click that button, you get sent to that thing, you fill it out, you confirm the information, send that in. That is the completion of step two that from the initial email. And then once that form is filled out and everything's confirmed, you get sent another email to do step three from. Let's see. Step three, complete required information. There's two things. There are two links that you need to deal with, and they are both very short. Um, one asks for two things, one of them being your social security number, so make sure you have that, and the other one uh, asks uh, for your housing preference, whether you want to live in a four-person, four-bath, uh, a four-bedroom, four-bath, four-person, so everyone gets their own room and their own bathroom, a four-person, two-bath, four-person, everyone gets their own bedroom, but you have to split two bathrooms, or a two-bedroom, two-bathroom, four-person, everyone shares a room and gets a bathroom. I have just, I listed them from highest price to lowest price. You're, you have to put them in your order of preference because you don't automatically get the one you want most, you might get the one you want the least. But uh, for me particularly, I chose the middle priced one, the four bedroom, two bath, and then the four bedroom, four bath, and then the um, two bedroom, two bath last, because I know that with my particular sensory issues and uh, start and end of day routines, I would be in a much, much healthier place mentally to not have to share a bedroom. I can handle sharing a bathroom, I already share a bathroom but my lowest choice was the one with shared bedrooms because I would rather have less money to spend and less money in my paycheck than to burn out three times as quickly and not be able to continue working. So yeah, those are the last things you need to fill out and once both of those links are done, you're that's all you need to do. And let me triple check. Yes. They don't send you another email. I don't. That's worrying me, but both the links they gave me are done. I am checking right now. So if you don't get another email after the request for additional information, which is the one that contains the two links in step three, you're okay. 
you're okay. You've done step three. You've done all the things you need to do. Now you just wait until you get... Basically, you're going to get a further itinerary that I have not gotten yet. That will explain which job you get, which role you get, aka working like at a, at a gift shop or in the line for a ride, running a ride, um, working with characters, like the characters you meet and greet with, working at a hotel, uh, working in a restaurant, etc, etc. There's a lot of options. Uh, and that is something I'm going to go into more detail in on a later date because I'm still in process of f figuring out some stipulations involving that. I don't know what role I'll have yet, but there are some roles that due to health concerns I will not be able to perform. So I'm in the process of uh, filling out some ADA forms that they provide actually in the dorms forms. <laughs> uh, they, they provide some forms for you to give to your doctors and fill out yourself that specify whatever disabilities keep you from doing certain things. And they're all ADA compliant, so so hopefully that'll be safe. I'll talk about that more once that process is complete and I have more information on it. Um, but yeah, that's everything I've done so far in according to the Disney College program. I hope this has helped. I plan to go into every step in the process and do some of the fun stuff too. I'm not just going to be a boring nitty gritties. I'm going to have fun with it too. I know a lot of people do the DCP tag, like, questionnaire, along with their role reveal. I might do that. Uh, a lot of people do bucket lists. I'm not sure if I'll do that, but I might. Um, I'm definitely going to vlog once I'm down in Florida. I'll probably go into detail about um, what I'm going to bring, because um, there's a lot of... It matters what I bring cuz I'm autistic and cuz I'm a human being. So I'm going I'm going to let you guys know stuff like that. I don't know what I'm I'm I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I'm just trying to follow the rest of the vlogs and have fun and be on be autistic on top of it. So I hope that interests you cuz I'm going to do it as long as I can until I completely burn out. And even then, I might jump back into it once I give myself a bit of a break. I don't know. I don't know how fast I'll burn out. I don't know how hard I'll burn out. I'll, I'll get to it. I'm rambling at this point. I've said everything I need to say. Welcome to the Disney College program. Welcome to my life. This is happening. Holy crap. It's happening. <laughs> this has been Forget Me Not. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, tell me anything you want to tell me. If you're also in the program or joining the program, talk to me. I would like to make friends. I have a few friends from my college already down there because they applied and got in and then had to not do it because of COVID. But I would like more friends. I would like to get to know more people. That would be wonderful. Uh, I also have an Instagram, a Twitter, and a TikTok. I am more active on my TikTok than <laughs> my Twitter and Instagram because uh, the TikTok was made much more recently. So I've actually used it and not treated it as a hiatus thing. But yeah, uh, check me out on other places. And me! I'm excited to meet you all. I'm excited to do all of this. Bye! Don't forget me.